Hi there guys and welcome to Dino's Vault once again and this time we have the uh, one of the gra groundbreaking launches from uh, the market leader here in India it is the Samsung Z1 uh, it's been uh, widely anticipated and uh, finally we have the uh, Tizen based uh, smartphone from Samsung uh, arriving here in India now for those who aren't aware, uh, Tizen is an open and flexible operating system that comes in multiple profiles uh, to serve different industry requirements. Uh, the current Tizen profiles are uh, you have in, in vehicle uh, infotainment system and Tizen mobile platform then you have uh, the TV uh, OS and then you have wearables we all know that uh, Samsung uh, uh, that Samsung introduced uh, uh, Tizen OS in their uh, gear 2 wearables uh, last year and uh, we see them taking it further into the smartphone segment uh, this time around we all were expecting the ZEQ 9000 to uh, surface last year but uh, it never did see the light of the day so we now have the z1 and without further ado let's take a look at the device as you can see the build quality is extremely good you have a micro usb uh, slot at the bottom power uh, on off button on the right hand side 3.5 mm jack on the top a camera led flash and speaker at the back and you have a noise cancelling microphone as well and uh, you have volume rockers on the left side and uh, that's pretty much it uh, you have a 1500 milliamp power battery two micro sim slots and a micro sd uh, card slot that supports uh, expandable memory up to 64 gb and uh, let's take a closer look as to how it feels uh, you can expect a talk time of around uh, 8 hours for the company claim and uh, the device uh, the height of the device is 120.4 uh, millimeters width is 63.2 millimeters depth is uh, or uh, the thickness is 9.7 millimeters and the weight is 112 grams as you can see the device looks very upmarket uh, and very premium despite its uh, budget uh, pricing and uh, it's just available for around 5700 and uh, you can get it uh, for a very competitive price uh, out there in the market and as you can see the device looks extremely good uh, the touch response is great uh, the colors come out uh, nice and uh, vibrant you get a 4 inch uh, PLS TFT uh, capacitive touch screen with 16 million colors and i must say you will be really surprised when you have a look at it uh, in person so uh, the tizen os is uh, laid out pretty much similar to that of the uh, android and uh, it tries to give you a little more uh, customization options and add a fresher feel so you have the uh, shortcut uh, toggle uh, when you pull down the notification panel and then uh, you can just uh, swipe up to uh, get into the apps and uh, let's uh, get into the about uh, device section and uh, we're going to see that in a moment you also have uh, uh, outdoor uh, lighting mode wherein uh, the uh, screen will adapt itself uh, and give you better uh, readability in sunlight as you can see it runs on uh, tizen version 2.3 and uh, let's take a look at the storage uh, the configuration is a dual core 1.2 gigahertz uh, uh, cortex a7 processor and uh, you have 768 mb of ram and 4 gb of rom out of which uh, 2.34 gb is available again very decent for a phone in this uh, price point uh, talking about the connectivity options you get wi-fi bluetooth 4.1 gps you get an fm radio and uh, you also get uh, um, USB version 2.0 these are the themes that are available as you can see uh, you can change the uh, way it looks that is always good uh, you can choose the colors that uh, suits your mood and uh, that uh, again is an added feature then uh, you can change the way the icons look as well which is again something fresh and uh, out of the box especially for uh, the phone that uh, uh, the price point uh, that this phone is being made available for i can say one thing for sure they have not compromised on quality whatsoever uh, in fact it looks extremely good uh, uh, as one of the best uh, phones in this uh, price range because be it the touch response the colors 
the uh, display quality and uh, uh, even the practicality you can just long press on the home button and uh, clear off the applications you can uh, long press on the home screen uh, on the screen itself uh, you, you can just open up the wallpapers or the widgets and the, these shortcuts so that is the regular interface you can get into wallpapers and you can get out as well you do get capacitive touch buttons which is pretty good and you have that home button right in the middle now let's check out the camera and uh, other options that are available with the camera app i believe again the camera is also extremely good you get a 3.15 megapixel primary camera and a vga secondary camera but still the images come out really well uh, thanks to the vivid uh, display uh, each image looks very crisp and uh, nice and vibrant so as you can see the images come out well even which even while we are zooming in and the detailing is good for a budget phone you have different modes to choose from again you have panorama mode and you also have a dream shot mode so this is how it looks apart from this you have other editing uh, features as well as you can see here you can adjust everything so again they have provided more than one uh, could anticipate or ask for uh, for a phone in this price point so that is what uh, uh, samsung are trying to you know prove here uh, they are trying to redefine the value for money proposition uh, especially when it comes to budget uh, smartphones and they are also trying to introduce a whole new experience to the already android addicted generation so there you have the editing options you can add all sorts of effects to make it uh, look better and uh, uh, unique and before you can share it with your friends you can play with the images can ro rotate them crop them further so again uh, the reason i'm saying though these are basic uh, editing options uh, for a phone in this price point when they are offering all of this you have to applaud them that they are trying to do something better for the for those who can't afford the higher end phones the display resolution is 480 by 800p pixel density is 233 ppi and video recording resolution is 640 by 480 pixels so as you can see the, this is the video clip that i had uh, made and uh, the video plays pretty well and uh, even the viewing angles are decent for a budget phone all in all i keep saying this because they have come up with a really value for money uh, uh, offering here uh, you get this uh, face detection option for the selfie and uh, even for the rear camera as you can see it starts with a countdown and detects the face almost immediately you can almost uh, you can always change that uh, setting by including a wider area for capture and there you go the uh, image comes out extremely well for a vga camera i guess that's again because of the extremely good display uh, and uh, it really makes uh, viewing experience uh, very pleasurable and very pleasant and uh, we had a pre-installed game it's a cricket game so i couldn't uh, get into the tyson store uh, and uh, we can get in like i'll give you a sneak peek of that later but uh, this is just a brief hands-on uh, video so i'll just play the pre-installed game so there you go we start off with a six and a six again looks like the batsman is in great form uh, oh my goodness looks like i got carried away uh, anyway uh, again a decent bit of uh, uh, a decent game to keep you busy uh, especially when you're down and uh, tired so you can always get to refresh yourself with a game like this uh, in cricket is our uh, one of the favorite games uh, here in india so that's a great way to include uh, the cricket game uh, okay let's check out the web browsing experience i'm going to just open up uh, the my uh, website and one more thing is uh, or highlight is uh, the touchpad or the keyboard uh, the keyboard accuracy is extremely good and uh, uh, typing across the keyboard uh, even though it's just a four inch screen is uh, very convenient so that's another plus point the keyboard is great and the touch response is great as well 
so let's load the page and see how it comes out loading happens pretty quickly and uh, let's uh, scroll up and down and uh, the images the color reproduction everything comes out really well even when you zoom in there is no pixelation the detailing is great the fonts look good and uh, there you go so all in all even the browsing experience is pretty decent and uh, i'll just get into the videos now and uh, play a video from my youtube channel excellent performance for a budget device i'm really impressed and uh, let's see i think i'll just play the tata bolt first impression video there you have it okay and uh, it plays the video pretty well again the video streaming is also excellent so all in all i you have to uh, applaud samsung for bringing in uh, such a phone uh, because uh, not only have they given an excellent phone in the budget uh, price range they've also included as many features as possible so you have to applaud samsung for that also uh, as far as my channel is concerned i've included playlists so that you can uh, section wise playlists so that you can find the video of your choice lee you can find car reviews bike reviews scooter reviews helmet reviews gadget reviews mobile phone reviews and a whole lot more so it will be easier for you so please do not forget to check my uh, playlists so uh, as you can see the colors look very very vibrant and uh, that is continuing to impress me and uh, another uh, highlight i have to mention is the music app you have uh, plenty of options to enhance the sound quality there you go just click on that uh, button and you have a whole lot of options you have presets different preset modes to choose from and apart from that you also have different modes environment effects you also get a virtual 7.1 channel uh, effect so that is very unique and extremely good so that's pretty much it this is our uh, first hands-on uh, experience i just hope this video was useful stay tuned for more action right here at dino's vault until next time this is dino saying ciao take care and god bless